Greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we are going to be starting with a new topic, trigonometry. Uh, so basically, we will start uh, with a right angled triangle. So I'm sure most of you have learned in primary level or back then in primary school that uh, we have this thing called a right angle triangle. So uh, what does a right angle triangle look like? It has got one side there, the second one, and the third one. Remember a triangle is any shape that has got three sides or three lines joined together. So that is a right angle triangle because it has got an angle of 90 degrees. As you can see as I indicate, that's equal to 90 degrees. So it means one angle there is equal to 90 degrees and it's got three vertexes by vertexes i mean those corners those points that are joined by those lines so this is a basic triangle with side one over there side two and side three so this tri remember it means three sides so a triangle has got three sides so yeah Uh, so as you can see there that as we have the 90 degrees is it, it is what indicates to us exactly what a, a right angle triangle is the right angle is the 90 degrees so this is all uh, this is the shape uh, where trigonometry takes place there's no other shape except the right angle triangle that trigonometry takes place on so we have a Cartesian plane here we can represent uh, a, a right angle triangle in a Cartesian plane. It means you can draw it in a Cartesian plane. So basically, a Cartesian plane has got an x axis as I indicated there and a y axis. So it's got what? A, um, a radius, a radius from that starting point, and then it has got that triangle. That's how you draw a, a right angle triangle on quadrant one of the Cartesian plane. So as you can see, we indicate at that corner that that is 90 degrees. So how do we see that that angle is 90 degrees? We see by perpendicularity. So which lines are perpendicular? What indicates 90 degrees is line AB, which is perpendicular to line CB. So if AB is perpendicular, we use that sign to represent perpendicular to CB, then the angles in between those lines is equals to 90 degrees so i'm sure it's clear right now as to exactly when do we say we have 90 degrees in a right angle triangle so remember this is a triangle we have got that side which is called uh we, we, we have two sides as you can see there the indicator we've got the horizontal side we've got the other side and then we've got side r as you can see that line which i drawn is represented by r is a radius radius so a radius is the longest side of a right angle triangle and it's always positive it cannot be represented by a negative number we'll explore later on uh, on another video as to exactly why so it is also called a hypotenuse so it depends on the syllabus of of your school as to exactly which way do they use for representing that line so that is the y y line why do we say it's the y line is because it's vertical so that is at the y axis so any vertical line in a triangle we name it the y and that is the x axis the x axis that's the line the magnitude of the horizontal line in that triangle so we've got two more angles except from the 90 degrees which you have count remember that this is a triangle so these angles have to add up to 180 degrees so in a triangle in a triangular shape it also it always has to add up to 180 degrees so uh so here we've got uh certain signs we use to represent angles so number one we've got theta and then that is the 
symbol for theta its full name is theta so theta is a symbol used to represent an angle and then we've got beta beta is also another sign used to represent an unknown angle remember we use these signs to represent unknown angles so we've got the third sign which is alpha so alpha so we use these basically to represent certain angles we can use this to represent unknown angles so thank you guys for watching that is basic information on a right angle triangle which we use to apply trigonometry